here we have a vintage pull the rope freight elevator here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We're gonna check this thing out and take it for a ride. So here are the controls. And this is a very standard pull the rope style elevator. So you've got two metal cables and then this one has a kind of a just a regular rope in the middle and that's the stop. So the way you operate it is you pull down on this right rope to go up and then you pull down on the left rope to go down. Now this device down here is what stops the elevator. So as you can see here there is a object attached to the rope and that is part of the mechanism that stops it. And if you look down below, there's another one. This ring here in the middle is used to open and close the diameter of this ring here. And what that allows is for the elevator to catch on these pieces here, which I will demonstrate. So with that, let's go ahead and take a ride on this neat elevator. We'll start by going down, and in order to do that, we need to disengage the rope by pulling this back, and then we're going to lift up on this side. Or I guess you could just pull down on this side, that works too. case I switched the lever back because this thing would fly down and then send me back up. So now we're going to take a ride up. So let's disengage this and then pull down on this side. seven. Now here you can kind of see how the stop rope works. Essentially it's attached to these two chains and no matter which direction is pulled down if you pull on this it kind of equalizes the force and it pulls the rope into the stopped position. So let's go ahead and demonstrate how that works. This one didn't seem to work as intended. <laughs> kind of just swap the direction, but that's what it's supposed to be used for. So now let's go ahead and ride this all the way back down to the bottom. Go ahead and demonstrate an intermediate floor. So I'm not totally sure if you saw what happened there, but 
pretty much what happens is when you move this lever here, it changes the diameter of this inner bit here. So if I do this, you can see how it opens and closes. And that allows these pieces to grip down on it. So like if I leave it in the closed position, we'll go up one floor. And then likewise in the down direction, it would do the same thing on that bottom one. Alright, now we'll go ahead and take it up to the first floor. Very cool elevator. Let's see if we can see what brand it is. Uh, I cannot tell if there's a data tag up there or not. Either way, this is still a really neat elevator and hopefully this little explanation of how this works kind of enlightens you and shows you how a polar rope elevator works. So with that, that's it.